Hey, gorgeous ones. All right, so it's almost the end of the month, and I know I'm a little bit earlier than I normally am with this, but I've actually hauled quite a bit this month. I've done my 20% Ulta haul. I've done, you know, a little birthday gift haul, and now I'm going to do a few of the things that I, I've gotten over this month. So, oh, but also I'm actually kind of combining two videos because I've often, I've actually done my current obsessions. I have a few favorites that I want, that I forgot to add to that and some things that I've been using that I wanted to share. So if you would like to hit, see what I've hauled this month and a few of my current obsessions, including some my Netflix ones, don't go away. Yes, I can like the whole universe. I am different. I am purpose. I am brilliant. Yes, I feel it. All right. Okay. Hey, we back. All right, so let's just talk about the last few things I got this month. A lot of this stuff I might have shown you all, but I just wanted to share, make sure that, you know, you all are up to date and current on what I have because I know it's important to you all. You. I know it's important to you to know what I what I have right now and what, what my crazy button has bought this month. Okay, so I'm going to start with Milani. Milani, Milani, Milani. Now, of course, there were some other hauls this month, and you know, I will put them in the description, the card, probably in the description box, the other hauls this month in case you missed them. So let's talk Milani. I bought a few things from Milani. Now, I have I've never really bought a lot from Milani, but you know, I buy here and there from them, but I really don't like, but I I don't know what, what's been wrong with me because Milani has some awesome products. So I got the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick, which, and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer, which if you watch my um, current obsessions, you know that I love these two. These are so dang on good. Man, these are good. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. They are good, y'all. Okay, then I also got the um, Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And I also got um, this right here. I got the new Bait um, blushes that they came out with, which is Petal Primavera right here. And I'll show it to you. These are not as glowy as the most of the baked ones. Matter of fact, these are just a little satiny. They have a little satin sheen. They are not glowy like the usual ones are by Milani. So I kind of like them because, you know, most of the Milani baked blushes are pretty glowy. This is Sunset Passion. Passione. They got an E on the back. So I, I'm going to say Passione. And so here's this one. And this is a deeper shade. Ooh, this is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of the color in that Becca. I'm um, not the Becca one. The Charlotte Tilbury one. I want to, ooh, that's a pretty deeper color. Sorry, I had to go find this. And then I have the um, Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. This is an O2 Sun Kiss. Let me show it to you. This is the medium one. This is really nice for me right now. I know it looks really light in the pan, but it is actually builds up really, really nicely on my skin. Let me show y'all. So it's a lighter, you know, it's a lighter color. It's a cool tone bronzer. But it's, it can be built up, so it gives me a nice little, you know, contoury, bronzy feel to the skin. So those that's what I got from Milani. Then what else did I get? Okay, because I really don't have a lot. Okay, so then I have... Let me just show y'all this. So you all know about... You know I have gotten me some hair wax. This is the Mofa Jang hair wax. I got it in gold. Um, if you want to see how it looked, I did do the, I did try it on live, have a, um, video for that. I will put it in the description box. Um, I like them so much that I'm going to buy some more. I actually saw where I can buy like all of them for like $50. So I'm probably going to buy all of them, the whole set. Cause I was about to order two more than I saw where they had it, where I could buy all of them for like $50. I was like, okay, so that would be stupid to buy two for 20 if I can get like six or seven of them for 50. So I think that's going to be the way I'm going to go. All right. So that's, that was that. Uh, okay. So let me show you my best deal of the month. My best deal of the month was one of those in the middle of the night 
you know, buys. You know how you get up in the middle of the night and you buy stuff and you don't even notice you buying it? It was one of those buys for me. So I woke up in the middle of the night and I washed my face and I was looking at my Peter Thomas Roth and I was like, you know, you need some Peter Thomas Roth. And then I said, well, you should get on their website because, you know, as I told you, one of the best things to do is to get on the brand websites, get on their mailing list because they're always doing sales on their website. So my, so I said, let me just go on and get on this sale, you know, get on their site. So while I was on there, I said, well, let me see what kits they have because um, I was, I mad at myself because I had missed this, um, the, there was a kit on Ulta during the 21 Days of Beauty that sold out so quickly, but I had wanted it and it was for it so I could get the uh, cloud, high, cloud cream um, water drench um, moisturizer, right? So I said, let me go and look. And then I went on there and I don't know what kind of hocus pocus was going on, but the kits were like half price. Okay, so let me show you what I got in the kits. So the first kit I got was, I don't know what's called, the Power Trio, I think it's called. And it was a full-size Peter Thomas Roth, Peter, you know, anti-aging cleansing gel, which is what I was trying to get. It was a full-size of this uh, Firm, Firmex peeling gel. So this is a um, exfoliator. And a full-size of the Water Drench Cloud Moisturizer. So it was the things I had wanted and it was on sale. It was half price. So the set was 34. Why is this looking kind of bright under there? But I got it for $34. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was because I was on there for the first time. I don't know what it was, but it was $34. And since then I've looked and it's back to 68. Which six, so I so now this is how this is $38. So I actually paid $4 less and got all three of these things. Scooper. Then I said, well, I started looking around, and then they had this Life's a Beach set, which is the set that is um powder sun uh, this is a powder um sunscreen and a cucumber gel mask this thing was like i want to say it was this okay this was like 15 dollars. it was 15 dollars, and they had um free shipping at 50 i think it was oh no and then then they sent me a 15 percent off coupon that's what it was so then because it was my first time on there, they gave me a 15 and I signed up for the email. They gave me a 15% off coupon. So I got, I, this was $15, 15 or 17. I can't remember. It was somewhere around there. And finally I saw this, this was this three, this was this mask kit, mask appeal kit. And there's three little, you know, it's like one ounce. I think these are one ounces. Yeah. One ounce mask. Now this is cool to try out. And, you know, it's not a committal to it. So this has another cucumber gel mask. That's fine. Pumpkin enzyme mask and the Hungarian thermal water mask. So I got these for $12.50. So I got all of this and then I had a 15% off coupon. So I wound up paying for all of this with, you know, because free shipping, $52. This is like the great, that's a great score because... This stuff right here is already worth more than, yeah. So it was a great score. So I got those. And then I, I, um, I got the Lunar Beauty Prism, Moonlight Prism powders. Where's my other one? I got two of them. Ah, here it is. So I got two of them, which I have swatched these live when I first got them this week. So I have Mars right here, which is the peachy pinky one right here. This is Mars right there. I'm sorry. I love the packaging. I'm a packaging whore. And this is some stunning little packaging. I know people giving Manny the blues. They give Manny the blues if he breathes. So people are talking about it, but let's be honest. I like it. And then this is Venus right here and they're saying he has too many references to sailor moon maybe that was his wasn't that his, his plan i don't know no, don't let me get to line i have no idea because it ain't that serious to me i just thought it was pretty then then i i finally used my smashbox pro discount because i've never used it before but then there's a couple of things i saw and i was like okay we need to get these in our life so the first thing was this cali kissed 
face palette. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Now I told y'all not to say nothing. Here's this, and this is it, and this is it right here. It's a highlight and blush palette right there. She cute, ain't she? Okay, these blushes I swatched are beautiful. They're they're okay. I'm just gonna show y'all now the um the highlighters I gotta play with to make a decision about them. But look at that beautiful coral blush right there, and look at this pink and blush right. Look at how pigmented these babies are. Y'all see how pigmented these are? So I had to have that. And then I, and this was only like $39, but I, I got quite a percentage off. So I got, so I wanted, I got that one. Then, oh, this is what I was going to show you. I also got this. This is the Smashbox LA Vibes kit. This thing, not even re regular price is a good deal because this is $29 and you get this cover shop palette this one is called canyon eye, the canyon eye palette and look at that it's such a cute grungy kind of vibe you know people like that grungy kind of stuff right there and then it has a lip gloss where's the lip gloss at louise because i just put it on my lips it's on my lips right now it's called honey uh what did i just do with it hold on just a second had to find it it was sitting in my uh it was in my uh regular makeup bag because i've been wearing it and this is called honey it's a really pretty nude color i'm liking their glosses because they're not they're thick but not too thick and they have a smoothness to them and i really don't the applicator I, they could have gone with a better applicator but they really glide on easily they're very they're, they have a nice opacity to them and they're soft but and they're soft on the lips but they don't move and they're thick but not sticky so these are really nice um gloss that I'm really loving right now all right then oh then I also bought a few singles from Menagerie Cosmetics so I have these right here so these are all the new ones right here these two I already had the, these right here these what is the six of them these are the ones that I got I actually bought seven but one of them I already had in a palette in my dragon uh, whatever dragon's palette um so these are the ones that I bought just to add on, look at that beautiful mustardy yellow. Ooh, she cute. She cute. Let me show you. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes, and the shimmers are love. Look at this pink shimmer right here. They are super soft, though. They are soft, so you got to worry about fallout. But the look at that sheen on there, though. This yellow is everything. Look at that yellow. See that duochrome because it's a it's yellow in the pan, but it's a yellow duochrome right there. Let's watch that, watch that, watch that. Yes, these are duochromes. All right, so that's that part of it. And finally, a few things I just got at Walmart today. I said stop by. I was not planning on buying, but then I, would, you know, you go to Walmart, you get drawn in, you get drawn, it just draws you, and you go, okay, let me go look, and then you. Just things fall into your hands or your cart. Okay, so I got the uh, Revlon Ke uh, Photo Ready Candid Concealer right here. So I got that in uh, 30 light medium. So we're going to see how that looks and, you know, wears on my uh, under, on my concealer eyes, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And then I found these. I am on this whole hunt for creams and things like that because I'm going to do more creams and cream formulas and you know kind of stuff for blushes and not necessarily bronzers but illuminators and things like that for the summertime so I found these there this is the Revlon photo ready cheek flushing tint right here oh my hands look a mess so let me do that I'm gonna cut that one out the Revlon photo ready cheek flushing tint right here see can you see that okay that's good enough and then i found this revlon photo ready blush jelly now this is like for real jelly so let me show you all it is definitely one of those jelly formulas it's got a lot of movement in it so i'm going to show you all this because when i opened it up it had a seal on it and look at all this that was on the seal so that tells you how it moves. So let's see how it is. Because I haven't swatched. I haven't done anything with these. Uh, oh, I took a lot. So yeah. Okay. So then you can shear it out, I'm assuming. Let's shear it out a little bit. See how it looks. It's 
kind of got a cooling effect. Okay. I'm sure like with a brush or with a sponge, it would definitely give a different look. Because it's kind of moving around a lot right here. It's got a little bit of almost glitter in it, but not, I'm not sure, but not too much. And now this one is in Peony, this blush tint. Now let's see how this goes, because I have no idea. Oh, look at this. Oh, so let's see how this goes. Boom. Ooh. Kind of got an alcoholic smell to it. This is definitely just a tint. Ooh, she's kind of pretty, y'all. Okay, she's going to be pretty on. Why do I want more now? That is so gorgeous. Can you see that in the summertime? Like a sheer wash of color on the cheeks. She is gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me get some of this up. Oh, and I almost forgot. I got a few. Oh, shoot. And so I forgot. I got a few of my favorite um, eyeshadow brushes from Elf. And these are the dollar ones that I've talked about that you can never have enough of. This is the C brush to pack on colors with. And then I got the eye crease brush, which I use, you know, right in the corners. This is a great brush to have. I know it's a dollar. And I actually paid a dollar, and I'm going to get more when they're 50 cents. That I'm just, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's it on all of the products I got. So let me just show you all a few things that I've really been vibing on. Um, I've been vibing on these illuminators. I just got them. And so what I've been doing is I've been really playing with just a glowy look to the skin. Um, very minimal makeup for every day. Like this is my kind of everyday look now. And I'm, I'm trying to refine it so I could write, you know, for it's like right around 10 minutes to put it on. Okay. No, it's going to take me more than 10 minutes, mainly because of the eyebrows, because I think I've been doing really decent with my eyebrows and having good eyebrows. So, you know, the main thing is I have my eyebrows and then I have my lashes. So, and I'm about to tell you which lashes I'm wearing. But anyway, I've been using these two. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. And this is the Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator and Beaming Light. This is in Golden Glow. These I've been wearing, like I, the way I've been doing it is I put on my primer. And then I put that on, one of these on. And then I'm using a powder foundation. So I'm playing with them. That And it creates a, a subtle luminosity to the skin that is not overpowering and then just a little blush that I have on now I have a little blush on usually a little glowy blush so I'm really building up the glow and then just a little glossy lips so that's been kind of like my everyday look for work um I am working on it so I can show you how I'm doing it and you if you you know let me know if you'd like to see that so I've been doing that that's one of my that's been my go-to now with that look is my lashes and I have on lashes right now if you don't notice this these are lashes and these are the little black dress lash couture uh, lashes by kiss these are so nice you see I don't even have on eyeliner at all I just pop these babies on and so my everyday look is more about the brows the lashes and a little lip you know and a little glowy look to the face very simple very minimal but it's a nice polished look for everyday going to work you know especially since I work in a school not too much you know because you know I just ain't got time to do the full beat every day so yeah this is uh the eyelashes I've been using love them i mean if you look at them they look so natural on the eye they're not long they still have they have a wispy vibe to them because i love a wispy lash that starts off smaller in the and in the inner corner and comes out so you get that flare to the eye i think it's a very beautiful kind of cat eye-ish look love it love it love it that is my go-to look right now and what else was I going to show you? Oh, and then this is one of my go-to lip looks. This is what I've been doing a lot. Um, I've been using these. This is the Buxom lip liners. You can use any, but I've been using these because they're so fat. So this is like a pink pencil. And I don't even like pencils. 
for the lips. But what I'll do is I'll put this on my lips, you know, first. And I'll put it all over because this is like a really bright pink. And then what I will do is I will layer. Now, this is my Touch Shot of Sun, which I have found out is actually um, one of the European line of the color shines. Um, so you really can't find them here. But then I'll take that over top of it. And so then it becomes a peachy pink. It tones it down a little bit and it gets a little peachiness to the to the uh, pink. And it's just, just adorable on the lips. And so that's my kind of go-to everyday look. Or I take this right here now and I'm doing this. And this is the shot of sun right here. And so you can see how it is and, you know, just in regular. Look at that. It's just a beautiful peachy coral right there. And now that I have this, I've been using this with it. Where is it at? What did I just do with it? Hold on again. Okay, I keep putting this back into my makeup bag. So it's the Gloss Angeles by Smashbox, the honey one that I have. So watch, I, I layer this on top. And then it's just like extra. It tones it down just a little bit and gives it even more shine. So those are the ways I've been wearing my lips on the daily. Those have been my looks. Yes, that's why I've been doing it, doing it, doing it. And that's it on the, you know, my favorites. My current favorites that I have forgot to talk about. Well, some of them I don't think I had. Yes, I did. Okay, anyway, I need to stop doing that. All right, and now for the Netflix for this month. I have been revisiting some shows that I like, that I've watched. And you know how you have shows and you haven't watched them in forever? And it's like you're watching them all anew and you forgot about them. And it's like, dang, I really did like this show. So I'm going to tell you a, um, three, no, two shows that I've been watching this month. The next one I might say for next month, it's, an, it's a French show. But let me tell you this show. This The first one is Miss Fisher's mysteries and this is an australian show it is based in the 1920s 30s i think um and it's with the you know uh, this woman and she's very independent the reason why i love the show is that it's a mystery show obviously but she's very independent for the time. She's very much into women being very independent, being strong. You know, she like champions things and rescues women from situations in the midst of doing these mysteries. And she and she's a very sexually liberated woman. So, you know, during that time, it was not to be, you know, you weren't supposed to be sexually liberated. And she is very honey, honey, honey. When you see the show, you're gonna be like, Dang, you were not lying. So that's one of my favorite shows. Now, here's my other show. This is called Midsummer Murders. I don't know if some of you are watching this. This is a British show. It has been on forever, like 18 seasons, I think it's on Netflix right now. And it started out it's with Barnaby. I forget his name, first name, but Barnaby, uh, DCI Barnaby, the first one. And then he leaves and then another one. But anyway, it's about this one area in England. And it's these mysteries and these mysteries are so involved because it's not like, you know, an hour and they're done. No, these shows have at least two or three people murders in them. You know, folks, they be often folks in these shows in these mysteries and they're so complex. And then he, when he figures it out and he, and then he explains it, it's like, wow, some of them is like, I never would have thought of that. So that's why I like this show. And there's so many seasons. Now you have to understand like with um, like British shows and some, you know, different countries, their, their shows might be very short season. Like, so the, for the first few years of the show, I think it was like four to six shows were in a season of shows. And then as it's gone on, they've gotten more per season. So the older ones, seasons go quick because it's only like two or three. It's only like six shows in a season. But as you progress with it, they get it, they get more. And if you like those type of shows, check out Death in Paradise. I forgot about that one. So we're going to throw that one up here because it just came in my head. That's a newer show though. So Death in Paradise is, you know, a British show, but it's it's um, based in the Virgin Islands. I think it's the Virgin Islands. Um, whatever. It's, it's in the Caribbean. And it's about a, a inspector who winds up in the Caribbean and he stays there and he starts, you know, he starts working in the police station and things like that. So it's a really good show too. So those are my mysteries from Netflix for this month. Oh, and before I go, 
There was some lost footage. I decided to share this at the end because this is going to be one of my premieres. So I wanted to show you all this. This is a look that I did with ColourPop. Totally forgot to post this up. Haven't done anything with it. I'm still not sure about this look, but we're going to share it with you anyway. So go ahead, check out this look. And as always, when you finish this up, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later. All right, so first up is Kiss My Hast, and this is a where I'm gonna start. It's kind of like my transition color, and I'm I'm taking that, you know, through the outer parts and the inner part of my eye because I wanted to do that kind of semi haloish kind of vibe. We'll see how it turns out. Now, if you have not seen my um, Sunday morning swatch party on uh, this evening, what is it, May third or fourth? Go ahead and check it out and you'll see me swatching this against Sydney Grace and my Certify. So you'll see a lot of greens. All right, next up is Act Natural. And I'm using that just in a little brighter green. So it's going to like make this more pronounced, the uh, kind of halo-ish vibe I'm giving. Next up is Chances Are and I'm using that on the top. To lighten that up and blend out the top to give it a little more um, more gradient effect toward the top of it. Next is Mobamba. I'm going to take that in further in. It's the deeper color to like really give that um, you know just more of a deepen on the inner as I before I put in that uh, my. Uh, light color you know my shimmer my shimmer that's the word I'm looking for goodness cannot even speak today So you see it's like getting deep the darker as I go in that way I can uh, you know it'll have a really pretty against the shimmer that I'm going to lay in a little bit all right I've uh, I'm putting big banks in the middle so as you can see I'm just laying that in the middle Ooh, she is but I don't think I sprayed this uh, I didn't spray it at all so this is big banks Ooh, she's pretty just in that middle and then I'm taking Mary Jane and I'm putting it in the center of each eye so I have two different um, shimmers to like really brighten it up because that Mary Jane is more of a is like that uh, greeny gold color all right so I'm gonna finish up my look and I will let you see it all right incoming and are my poses yeah right okay so anyway this is the final look I really do actually now that I'm looking at it well it's kind of cute the color I have on my lips I think is k-bop by um, color pop I went with a really bright orangey you know look to make it very springy and actually to match my scarf on my head I didn't even notice I had done that way to go Louise hashtag winning all right so this is the look let me know what you think about it as always be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free.